professional who wants to pursue a part-time PhD and has a lot of questions in their mind about the same, then this video is dedicated to you. In this video, we are going to answer important questions related to part-time PhD, which have been asked to us by working professionals. So welcome to All About PhD by Dr. Ritika Gaba. And I'm here once again to empower you with genuine, well-researched and in-depth knowledge. So the first question that we are dealing with today was asked to us by Mr. Arka, who wanted to know if companies, IT companies like TCS allow the employees to pursue a PhD. Yes, definitely IT companies and definitely TCS allows the employee to pursue a PhD because I'm mentoring several students who are working in the IT sector. One of them is actually from TCS and some of them have started their PhD. So this, I'm very sure that they do allow employees to pursue a PhD. However, uh, just be to be sure that in case you are, you want, uh, what kind of help you are looking for from your company? Are you looking for your IT company to give you sponsorship for the PhD program or you want them to give you a four year, five year leave to pursue a PhD? Then that's a different case because in that case, it is not only the individual company's education policy for the employees, it also depends on your uh, performance in the company, your designation, your roles and responsibilities, how many years you spent in the companies. So all, all these things together will determine whether the company would be willing to give you such a long leave and would be willing to or would be willing to sponsor your PhD education or not. However, if you are only planning to pursue a part time PhD where you will not require a lot of leaves, only you will require leaves to pursue your coursework and your six monthly meetings. Besides this, you are not looking forward to any kind of sponsorship and you are planning to manage your own fee, PhD fees, then in that case, you will be requiring only a no objection certificate from your company, which as I've already said, in my experience, most of the IT companies actually support their employees to pursue their education further. So from here, we come to a second question, which was asked to us by Mr. Khan. Who wanted to know that if NOC is a mandatory document to pursue a part-time PhD? So yes, NOC is a mandatory and an extremely pertinent document if you want to pursue a part-time PhD. No university or higher education will accept your part-time PhD application without an NOC. Now here you should understand what is the role of an NOC and why this document is so important. NOC, the full form of NOC is no objection certificate, which is actually a guarantee which the company is giving the university that they have no objection that the student, the individual or the employee in question is pursuing a PhD from that university. When they say they have no objection, that means they are ready to support you in this PhD journey. They would have no objection when the time comes to take leave for your PhD, six monthly meeting or your coursework. Also, this NOC serves as a certificate of your employment in that company and also serves as your experience letter. So this is the reason that an NOC from the company becomes extremely mandatory. Also, if in case any one of you is confused, part-time PhD is only be, is, can only be pursued by somebody who is working. And therefore, because you are working in a particular company, you will require an NOC from that company to pursue a PhD. However, in case you are self-employed, like you are a CA practicing on your own, you are a doctor or you have your own business venture, then also you can pursue a PhD. From here, we move on to the third question which was asked to us by Ms. Shriya who wanted to know that if somebody can pursue along with their part-time PhD uh, additional PG course like an MA or an MCOM. So the answer to this question is absolutely no. UGC strictly prohibits any kind of additional degree. So this has also been discussed in one of our earlier videos where we had told you about the two academic degree programs and we had told you how UGC has strictly said that 
along with your PhD, you cannot pursue any other academic degree, whether it is done on distance mode or online mode, no other additional degree can be pursued with your PhD. Now understand this, that part-time PhD is something which you are already doing with your full-time job or with your job. So uh, when you are working, you are employed, at the same time you, you are doing your research, which again takes up a lot of time and dedication. It is not humanly possible that you take up a third additional degree to be pursued. And therefore UGC says that no student can focus on their research work and another degree together. Therefore, they have discouraged and prohibited any additional degree to be pursued along with your PhD. So this is it from me in this video. If there are any other questions related to part-time PhD, please post them in the comment section below. I would love to answer them in our next Q&A session. Thank you so much for watching my videos. This is Dr. Ritika Gaba and I'm here to empower you with well-researched, in-depth knowledge. Do subscribe to our channel, like our videos and share.